My name is Yuda Benatar, I um, go by Sidebrain, I produce, I perform, I teach uh, Ableton Live, I'm, I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer. Um, I build my own MIDI controllers, I use old video game controllers as MIDI controllers, and, and that's it, collaborate with other artists, remix, produce, um, doing live shows, live, live shows, uh, and that's it. the Piper, my wife found it on the street. It's semi-working, only the white keys, but it's so cool because it has uh, a built-in arpeggiator with variable speed, so... So you can do some really cool stuff with it. Um, my wife got me this, this is a light theremin, which is really cool. She got me this in New York from a, from a DIY artist in New York, which is pretty cool. It built it into a cassette tape uh, box. Um, just a MIDI keyboard, just uh, doing all my stuff. Um, I wish I had more synthesizers, but I don't. I don't have any noise makers. Everything's inside a computer, uh, using software synthesizers and such, and sampling. So just everything's MIDI. So this is a MIDI keyboard. This guy I just built. Uh, it's called the Mediator. It's a DIY MIDI controller. Uh, this is This is a Dreamcast arcade stick. I just uh, turn it into a MIDI controller, the joystick and everything. It's an Ovation SL uh, Mark II, 25 keys. It's a great keyboard, especially for live performance and to control Ableton Live. And this is an Ovation launchpad that I won in a competition where you have to submit a video uh, using one of Novation's products and I use the Dreamcast and the Novation. You can check it on my YouTube channel, the video that won, I won first place. And I got this uh, custom made uh, launchpad, everyone knows the launchpad. Um, I just uh, the Nintendo controller, I turned into a, into a MIDI controller, just a, a portable turntable to sample, tape machine. Uh, I got a Monomi. Actually, this Monomi, my wife bought it um, from Flying Lotus, and he sang it. It's when, when I was in Israel, and I was like, oh my god, I want a Monomi. You couldn't get those at the time, because they were releasing every couple of months, just 300 of them, and they were like off the shelf like that. And Flying Lotus sold his on eBay, and my wife like knew I wanted it from, because uh, I liked an artist, I still like an artist named Dedalus. I know the Monomi from him. And she said, uh, and she got it for me from Flying Lotus to my birthday. So thank you, honey. And uh, yeah, that's the Monomy. And uh, that's it. Another uh, MIDI, MIDI controller I'm working on, building this from an old USB gamepad. And my monitors. And that's it. Everything basically happened in the computer. Uh, all the
all the music, everything, everything that you see here doesn't make any sound, just sends uh, the computer uh, messages what to do. MP, MPC 2000 XL, which is absolutely amazing, but um, it's, um, you know, it's obsolete. Because everything we can do everything, even even the groove, the famous groove of the MPC is emulated in the archive keyboards, in the MPDs, even in Ableton Live you have an MPC groove. So if if anyone tells me, oh, I use it for a groove, there's no reason to use it for a groove. You can find it somewhere else. The sequencing, uh, don't even talk to me about sequencing. Every every software today in the in the computer is much more faster and efficient than this. I love this, it's amazing, it has great sounds, it's fun sampling, it's fun playing live. I used to play, uh, I used to play in a band uh, with this live and it's really fun but, you know, just gaining dust, that's all right now. And that's it, couple of mics, this is a didgeridoo, if you know, it's an Australian uh, instrument, it does like boom, uh, a couple of guitars, a mandolin, and